Adam Christ for MyMMANews.com being joined by the Lionheart, James Lyons, ahead of his bout at Cowboy Fight Series against Marshall Shermer. It goes down December 21st in Sterling, Virginia. James, this isn't our first time. I appreciate you taking the time, my man. Hey, man. So, what's been going on lately in your life getting ready for this fight? It's a big, big opportunity for you, man. Cowboy Fight Series in front of Cowboy Cerrone, the man himself again. Sucker Punch Entertainment, obviously some of the best in the business. And then you're fighting for the 145 pound strap. Yeah, man. Good, good opportunity. Uh, good momentum going behind me. You know, I've won uh, six, six straight MMA fights, all finishes, and just going to keep the ball rolling. Um, probably last one as an amateur and mm. get another finish. I was curious about when you want to make that jump into the pros. We've been talking about it for a while. So you do think that this is going to be the final stepping stone, taking out Marshall Shermer, getting that Cowboy Fight Series featherweight title, and then making that jump. Yeah, take him out. It, there's no reason not to go pro at this point. You know, one more. Uh, be my fifth title um, and seven straight wins. There's no reason to be an amateur anymore. I mean, it's it's the last one probably for me in the year four and zero. Oh, enjoy the holidays and then next year look to go pro early in the spring. Now before we jump into this fight, I want to recollect back on October, man. It was your first time fighting in front of Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Again, like I said, Sucker Punch Entertainment. It was a big crowd. You had your boy Ben Coyle with you. He was on the card. And uh, so just take us through the whole atmosphere of this whole experience of Cowboy Fight Series. What's it been like for you? It's been camp? good. Uh, so it was, you know, I was at Stellar for a while. You know, I, I got the uh, consistency there, you know, built the momentum. It was good for me and Ben. We've uh, been on the same car together, I think, six straight times. So that was good. Went there a little different. Got out of my comfort zone a little bit. Uh, different. Different in some ways, the same in others. It's still a cage fight, it's mm -hmm. still the same uh, thing. And it was a good experience for me. I think me and Ben uh, both got a lot from it. It was it was like a home away from home. You know, I didn't feel like I was away, but I didn't feel like I was home. It was a good fight, a middle ground. There wasn't wasn't too much build up. You know, I don't think they they hype it up too much to the point where it's like fake. I think it's a good. Uh, a good promotion, you know, they don't bullshit the event. It is what it is, mm -hmm. you know. There's, I guess there was, I don't know, the same amount of people as Stellar. It didn't seem like it was huge. It wasn't gigantic. And the event, you know, was what it was. You know, I enjoyed it. I got a finish, and I didn't get hurt. And I've consistently trained since, so. So getting to this bout, you have Marshall Sherman. He was originally supposed to fight Connor Buell on Cowboy Fight Series 3. That fight got scrapped. Obviously, you were on that card. It's been a while since he's been in the cage. Do you, feel, do you feel that you have the advantage? Because he's done his jiu-jitsu tournaments, he's done you know, a little things to keep himself active, yeah. but he hasn't had that cage time like you have. Oh, uh, for sure, you know, I mean, you know, I just got out of the cage, you know, he hasn't been in the cage since April, you know, he got stopped in his last fight, you know. Uh, strikes, I guess, knee injury strikes, kind of the same. You know, it was a hell of a fight, it was a good fight. Um, I. I think I have the advantage in that aspect of it. Yes, I don't think it's, I don't think he has the momentum I have coming in this fight. You know, with his fight falling through, I would have liked to see the fight. You know, he has the advantage of watching me fight, which is good for him. But I think overall, I have the advantage of going into this fight. So, knowing a little bit about you, you very or very critique, you critique to the finest tune. You go into every finest detail that you can find. So, you've been doing a lot of homework on Marshall Sherman. Yes, yeah. to say. Yep. What have you learned about him that you can take into this fight, getting ready for December twenty first? He's a good. He's a mixed martial artist. I think he's good everywhere. Um, you know, he has all submissions just like me. You know, his jiu-jitsu is good. Uh, he's solid everywhere. There's nowhere where martial lacks. You know, I, I just think that you know I'm on the up, and he's kind of he's coming off a loss. You know, he's one and two in his last three, and I think my momentum's going to give me the, the edge to win this fight. And you've seen, it's been released now, you've seen his interview, you've seen what he has to say. He was a little bit back and forth. He said it's going to be a landslide on the feet. Then he said he was going to stop you on the ground via submission. What do you have to say about his words? What, do you, what was your takeaway from his interview? Yeah, I just, I don't know, I just think he doesn't know. I just think everyone's like, oh, I'm going to strike, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, then we can strike, you know, if you want to strike, but I'm probably going to put you on your ass and I'm probably going to submit you. So if you want to strike, you can strike, you know? <laughs> And little known fact, like we've talked about before, is you're undefeated in kickboxing. So I think people take a look at your record, yeah. see your submissions, see your drive in jiu-jitsu, but they 
they don't credit your kickboxing yeah. or your stand up enough. Am I yeah. accurate in saying that? Yeah, I, I agree. You know, and also I get quick takedowns. Typically, you know, I'm not on the feet a lot, but you know, if I can take you down and submit you, why would I stand with you? If you can't defend a takedown, you don't deserve to stand with me. That's just how I look at fighting. Very bold. I like that. Now I want to close it down, man. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty. I want to ask you, how do you take out Marshall Shermer? How do you become the Cowboy Fight Series 145 pound champion? I will finish Marshall Shermer December 21st by submission. Don't want to clarify. Any round? Any type of submission? Eh, we'll see. I don't know what round, but definitely a submission. I'll probably finish him with a rear naked choke. I think so. Four straight rear naked chokes. It's honestly a game. And then going pro. Going pro. As the Cowboy Fight Series featherweight champion, you heard it here first. James Lionheart Lions getting ready to take on Marshall Shermer for the 145-pound championship trap. Cowboy Fight Series goes down in just a few weeks, and we will be there on behalf of my MMA news. I'm with my man, James Lionheart Lions. I appreciate the time, my friend. Keep it locked to myMMANews.com for all your fight news needs.